ヒーローになって母さんそうもみんな守ら行くよチャオ What is up YouTube? It's your boy Hero here coming at you with another video and today we're going to be playing some Jump Force and as you can see here we have Shinra from Fire Force. Now this was a suggested build in our comment section and I know we haven't played Jump Force in a while but we're going to get back into the swing of things because really man all of this is because of you guys so it's time for us to start really uh, giving you guys what you want and stuff like that but man let's go ahead and get straight into this build. Now uh shinra is a part of the fire force anime so of course you know his ability does deal with fire now hopefully you've seen the anime to even be here but most of his stuff is fire moves or fire kicks and stuff like that and um i try to keep it from being a total uh what's that dude's name from freaking one piece uh i can't i can't think of it right now but i didn't want it to just be all of his moves so i decided to use majority of them but put fortify on because you know it can provide an ability boost to make my moves hit a little stronger now these are the j skills i do have um this one does ability power my health is above 50 percent this one doesn't when it's below 50 percent so i constantly have 50 percent going whether i'm high health or low health then i also have fire elemental attack up then i have a Awaken ability power up by two and then uh or my fault by three and then again by two hold on what, what are these people doing what, what are you guys doing i mean I, I know i'm not famous here but first why are you letting your friend come this close to me excuse me lady hold on because you you're the weird one but you're really the weird <laughs> one for just sitting here watching this so could you kind of get him away from me like look 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 at this is this your man's is this your man's please because somebody got some explaining to do i feel very uncomfortable you know what i'm gonna just move i'm gonna just i'm gonna just leave yeah i'm gonna leave y'all to it all right guys now we're in training mode and basically i'm going to give you the rundown on this build but one thing i do want to take note is this is i guess the final valley map that they added to the game a few patches ago or last patch i'm not even too sure because i don't keep up with the patches but let me go ahead and set my settings here real quick and show you guys how this combo works now what you're going to do you're going to hit fortify and then you're going to um basic attack four times and then uh, you're going to do the first move on the list. And then while you're doing that first move, you're going to call Bakugo out. Hit three more times, hit your second move, and then go straight into the ultimate. Now, the damage right now isn't going to be looking too crazy because we only have a 50% boost. Because this is an awakened build. So it's really meant to do more damage while you are in your awakened state. But just to show you guys, you know what I'm saying, what the damage will look like if you do choose to pull it off at high or low health, I'm going to do it uh, for both of you guys just to show you like uh, what the build does, you know? So, you know, same old, same old, regular, regular. And then uh, go into that. And then while they're falling, you have to go straight into the ultimate. The timing on this is actually super easy, so it's not a hard build. And as far as the moves go, I do see Shinra doing moves like this um in the anime or at least similar to it so I, I think it's a pretty accurate build now let's let's see what this damage really looking like let me go ahead and hit that awakening real quick and while i hit that awakening i'm gonna do the combo again but it should do massive 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 amounts of damage so bow bow hit that baka go in the air hit him three more times hit him with kicks now we can hold on hold on hold on what what, what, what is this Cause this don't look like it's too much different than what it was before. So was this 30% damage? Something's not adding up. So, cause that that damage does not look right at all. I know I haven't been here for a while, but uh, the damage should be a lot higher. Hold on, give me give me a couple of seconds to go figure this out real quick. Just give me a few seconds. 
all right you guys i'm back and i figured out what it was so basically on my uh actual moves i didn't have any debuffs on and that actually plays a pretty big part in your damage when doing these combos so once i put these debuffs on and stuff like that as you can see my damage went up tremendously and, and that, that's really what i needed it went from like a 30 percent combo to a 50 percent combo so if you guys are making builds and stuff like that do not forget about your uh debuffs and stuff like that and make sure you're debuffing for the right stuff but i mean as far as this goes i mean the map is okay i guess it is pretty cool now i wonder if it does have stage transitions because if it does i think that'd be pretty dope if it takes you to like this uh river or something like that but like i said man we're gonna get back into it just for you guys or at least i am but um you know if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell because nobody game we lit it's been your boy hero and i'm out you did